I'm Robin Feicht at Stamping Country and today we're going to make this lovely card with a lot of glimmer and glitz using the Winter Post stamp set. For this card I've used a base of very vanilla which is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. I also have another piece you can see that it's layered here that is cut at five and a quarter and four of very vanilla and then I have a piece of watercolor paper and I love now that the watercolor paper comes in packets of six by nine so that makes it nice but this one is cut at two and by two and three eighths and it'll fit the two little skaters and then my mat of the Baja Breeze is cut at two and an eighth and by two and a half then I have a piece a, of silver glimmer paper that I've cut about an inch wide and just a little shy of five and a quarter that's going to fit across here and I'm going to use that with my Tasteful Trims um, die. Let's start with our focal point on our card which is going to be our skaters. You can see that our skaters are coming along and they look quite handsome. But you notice that their faces, you can't really see their faces well. And to remedy that, I'm going to use a, and it's actually a retired color, it's called Blush Blossom. But the marker is still available, and this is the reason why. So that we can color these flesh tones very easily with our Blush Blossom marker. And see how that made their faces pop. You're going to love this next part. This next part gives us the dazzle and the glimmer and the shine that a wintry card deserves. So I have my watercolored skaters. I'm going to take my Versamark pad and I'm going to just pat it face down across my Versamark pad so that the whole front of my stamped image is wet with the Versamark. Then I'll place that in my powder pal. I'm going to just cover it with iridescent ice. Iridescent ice is a clear embossing powder, but it has glitter in it. I love this process because I don't have to use glue or anything. I'm just heat embossing, and I'm going to get that look of glitter because the glitter's already there, but it's just so easy. We'll just lay that down, and we're going to heat that with our heat tool. Once all of our iridescent ice is melted you can see the glitter just pops and the clear embossing powder sort of gives it that, that clear finish it even makes the the colors deeper and richer for our decorative edge we're going to use some of that silver glimmer paper I have a piece already cut and this is the tasteful trim big Z extra long die when it comes out the other side we have our pretty glimmery trim. This silver glimmer paper looks almost like champagne color and you can see how the glimmer complements the glimmer with the skaters. This is a Northern Flurry embossing folder. We'll just slip that cardstock in there and put that on our first cutting pad, put our second cutting pad on and run that through. We'll add our Victoria Lace using a piece of sticky strip and you can see that I've already added a piece of sticky strip across the front of my card and we'll just peel that off. Crunch this ribbon along the sticky strip. Sort of random, no particular pattern. Let me show you how easy it would be to change up this card and make it for many different occasions. Today's card is for my husband because uh, we're celebrating 32 years of marriage. So I'm sending him so many smiles. Begin with you. And I'm using this stamp set called Petite Pears. And with Petite Pears you can do a lot of different occasions and pair them up different ways. Here's, here's another example. We can send our card as a Christmas card with a simple Merry Christmas. Or we can send out some thanks, sending many thanks. So you can see how it could, this card can easily become many cards. 
Thanks so much for joining me at Stamping Country. Have a fabulous day.